section is about the, a girl who loses her family in a tragic, I guess you could say, tragic plane accident. <laughs> yeah, tragic plane accident. Don't ask me. Um, um, so yeah, so in a tragic plane accident, <laughs> um, uh, she uses her family, and then over the course of an hour and 49 minutes, she goes to, I guess, kill them. Now, everyone always says January is a first year for film. Some, I do too, I mean, good lord, we've had stuff like Doolittle, The Grudge, The Toning, stupid Netflix movies like A Fall From Grace, all those terrible, crappy movies. But, I never really felt bored watching them. I never really felt um, extreme boredom where I actually struggled to keep my eyes open. Everybody that we were waiting for. Good Lord Almighty me! This movie! Good Lord! This movie is one of the most boring freaking movies I've ever sat through in my entire life. I went into the theater and we got the tickets. Me and my mom just went and we were the only people in the theater. And sometimes I actually feel very happy about that so I can just express my feelings. Out loud, without having anyone having to just yell at me or something. But no, I I didn't even feel like doing that because I was just like I was I've yawned at least seven times, at least seven times. There was one point where I really almost had to fall asleep. Why I was about to fall asleep? I'm just like, if this movie is not over by nine o'clock, I'm leaving. And it wasn't over by nine o'clock, but uh, I, 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 I still said. problem with this movie is of how excruciatingly boring it is. This movie doesn't really have an action sequence until maybe the 55 to an hour minute mark. That's pathetic, one, because they market this movie as an action movie, and there's maybe three or four action scenes in an almost two-hour movie. That's pathetic! And they all aren't, un aren't untold the past, like, 50 minutes! There's two kind of cool scenes. There are, there's one scene where the chick's trainer, I guess, he kind of kidnaps her. Spoiler, but I don't think you really care. There's one scene, where, so he kind of kidnaps her, and they kind of train together, and it's all in one shot, and they kind of fight, which is kind of an action scene, I guess. It kind of is witty. That's kind of entertaining. There's a car chase that's all done in one shot. It's not done in one shot as you think. Like you get like wide shots that get, you get a wide shot and then it kind of comes and zooms in on some faces and then goes out and then comes and zooms in on some other things. No, it just kind of, it kind of stays in three positions, which I kind of love and <laughs> kind of hate. So it just stays in, it stays in one position, which is the position of like the front rear view mirror. It stays in the position of the back of the view. So, like, in the back of the truck, and then it stays in the position of the girl who's actually driving the truck, which it stays in most of the time. And it's all just done in, it's like, vroom, 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 vroom. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, but it, it's not very really entertaining. Um, what else? The movie looks fine. It's decent enough cinematography. It looks okay. Uh... The final fight scene, I guess, was kind of entertaining. Um, there's one or two lines that are kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The, uh, just the main problem with this movie. It's a very generic also. It's a random just revenge movie like Taken or something like that. Besides that, Taken is much better. <laughs> um, I will say it's better than Taken 3. It's not better than Taken 2. And Taken 2 isn't even that great. Good job on that, film crew. Um, 
what else is good? Not really. Um, so I kind of just blended my main problem with this movie with how freaking boring it is and some cool things, I guess. There's like three decent things about this movie. Um, it's very generic. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly. I can't stress it enough how boring this movie is. Um, you don't root for any characters. There are scenes in this movie where there's not really that much dialogue. And the story, it's kind of, it's very hard and confusing to find out where the story is going. Because this movie, it starts off and you don't really know where it's going. You don't know much about this character. And then she kind of just goes to a place, figures out someone's dead, goes to another place, kind of gets kidnapped, and stays there for like, I'm trying not to spoil it, but I feel like I am, so sorry. So she just goes to separate places. She spends like 30 minutes just at this one place that you don't give a crap about. And then kind of teams up with this one guy, but you don't really think she should. Because the guy kind of kidnapped her. And then it just goes into a freaking four minute final action scene. Well, kind of. And the movie's very predictable as well. There's a scene in this movie that takes place in the last, like, 30 minutes of the movie. I'm just like, I bet you. I told my mom, I I bet you that's going to be an opening. The opening movie takes place at, like, the ending of the movie. Well, it's not the ending scene of the movie, but it's one of the ending scenes. So, uh, yeah, um, the rhythm section gets a D plus, I guess. It's really not good at all. Uh, don't recommend it. You might actually fall asleep. True story, I actually had to run up and down the aisles. I, like, jogged. Um, I, like, jogged for, like, two minutes just to try and get myself awake. And I had to, like, reach my fingers into my water cup just to put it on my eyes. So, yeah, that, that was that story. It was more entertaining to do than watching the movie, I can tell you that. D plus, the rhythm section, not good at all. Really bad, actually. Skip it.